Today let us see the summary of the lesson Girgit. Girgit is uh, written by Anton Chekhov and uh, as I told you Anton Chekhov hails from European countries. He has written a very very sarcastic uh, lesson about uh, people that were ruling in those days and about the political scenario of uh, those uh, days. The name of the lesson is Girgit and uh, you know Girgit means uh, Chameleon. Chameleon is uh, a particular landscape animal which is uh, often change uh, its uh, colors. Chameleon according to the situation according to its uh, surroundings uh, goes on changing its uh, body colors. And uh, this kind of uh, changing of attitudes, changing of their mentalities and changing of their behavior, several people could be found in a society. That means these people are called uh, people who are all uh, going as per the say situations. These people are called uh, say avakashavadi people. Avakashavadi means as per the situation is going on, they keep on changing their opinions, they keep on changing their behavior and they go on changing their attitudes. About these people, actually speaking, the author has written a very, very, I tell you, idiomatic, many, many kinds of expressions are given in this lesson. He writes uh, in a very, very criticizing way about the people of those days. The administrative people or maybe the political uh, scenario of those days is uh, a very well expressed and very well given a very good, a humorous as well as uh, a sarcastic uh, say, view of the situation is given in this lesson. Let us now go for the summary of the lesson. अच्छी शासन व्यवस्था वही होती है जो समता पर चलती है द वेरी फर्स्ट सेंटेंस टॉक्स अबाउट द इक्वालिटी ऑफ द सोसाइटी यू नो मेनी यूरोपियन कंट्रीज से वर्क ऑन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इक्वालिटी द वेरी गुड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इज ऑलवेज विद अ बैकग्राउंड ऑफ इक्वालिटी सबको एक दृष्टि से देखती है it also observes the people on the same scale, on the same lines. Anyayi aur uske anyayi ko nyayi ke tarazu par hi tawlti hai. So, this uh, say kind of administrative system always takes uh, the injustice and the person who is uh, the reason for that injustice into only one kind of uh, measurement that is uh, scaling the person. I see Sassan Vyavastha Jan Jan Me Kanun Ke Prati Adar Aur Samarpan Ka Bhav Jagati Hai. This uh, is measured uh, in the same balance, in the same containers of the balance just because to keep the human respect and to give value for say the people and uh, love. People should behave as per the law. That is all uh, we know. And uh, the respect also should be given as per the law to every human being in the society. That is only called uh, equality of uh, people. Nirbhaita ki bhavana bhi paida karti hai. It also gives uh, raise to the say attitude like uh, not getting afraid of anybody in the society. It's not that uh, they become deliberate people, no. But it makes people confident about uh, their own behavior according to the law. That's all. I see Shasan Vyavastha Kayam Tabhi Ho Sakti Hai Jab Shasan Ki Bagdor Sambhalne Wale Pakshapat Kiye Bina Apne Adhikaro Aur Kartavyon Ka Palan Kare. It is said that such kind of good administration is possible when 
the administrators are not partial people they don't take any side they don't uh, favor some particular group of people in the society they should be always uh, impartial then only good administrative system can be established in any country in any country any continent or any area of the world only when administrators are impartial when they do all their duties when always they enjoy their rights accordingly then only good administration is established jab ve is kasauti par khare nahi utarte tab desh mein arajkata ka samrajya sthapit hote der nahi lagti so it is very much confirm that whenever the administrators are partial be sure there comes anarchy there comes arachakata it is arachakata the society becomes the center of many kinds of atrocities in the say countries and always it gave so much of say disturbance in the society it makes a lot of lot of problem to the administrators and the country will be in hot waters the result ultimate uh, say effect of this will be the country will be in the problems 1884 mein likhi gayi prastut kahani mein rus ke mahan lekhak ne ek aise avsar ka varnan kiya hai jab जार शाही शासन चापलूसों भाई भतीजावाद के पोषक अधिकारियों के भरोसे चल रहा था एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग द रशियन राइटर दट इज अवर राइटर आतोन चेखव दिस आतोन चेखव हैज रिटन दिस स्टोरी इन द ईयर एटीन एटी फोर एंड दिस वॉज द टाइम वेन द Tsar Tsar is the Russian emperor and uh, this Tsar Shahi he was doing uh, his administration just based on one weak point that is uh, say bandhu priyata we call this what is bandhu priyata always in favor of his own people the family members blood related people and uh, always the centralization of power will be in the hands of Tsar uh, and his relatives finish and there is no other question of any other say common citizen in the country in the issues of administration and he was not active i tell you he was very passive he was disinterested in administration totally he was depending on his uh, relatives he was depending on his own uh, people and uh, administration was going on as per their wishes as per their uh, डिजाइस नतीजा यह था कि वे कानून के या आम आदमी के पक्ष में ऐसी फरियाद का भी न्यायोचित फैसला नहीं कर पाते थे जिसमें दोषी कोई मनुष्य नहीं बल्कि वाहशी कुत्ता ही क्यों न हो सी वेन किंग इज नॉट एट ऑल एक्टिव not at all interested in administration and the whole thing is given into people who are said to be unfit people and uh, the result will be anybody in the country may be a very common man not only a man an ordinary animal also cannot be given justice that means justice will go in vain it will not be possible for a person like uh, unfitting uh, nyayadhikari or unfitting uh, official to make justice to even a very very common say animal in the country sambhavatah aishi shasan vyavastha ke liye hi sant kavi tulsidas ne kabhi kaha hoga samaradh ko nahi dosh gusai वी नो तुलसीदास जी ने कहा था अपने दोहों में एक बार ऐसी झूठ मूठ व्यवस्था के बारे में 
क्या कहे मालूम समर्थ को नहीं दोष घुसाई वेन द पर्सन इज केपेबल वेन द पर्सन इज एफिशियंट नेवर नेवर गिव हिम एनी काइंड ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ ब्लेम्स बिकॉज इट इज ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ से इन एफिशियंट पीपल एन एफिशियंट पर्सन नेवर मेक्स सच काइंड ऑफ मिस्टेक्स सच काइंड ऑफ लॉस नेवर ही विल डू संभवत ऐसी शासन व्यवस्था के लिए ही संत कवि तुलसीदास ने कभी कहा होगा समर्थ को नहीं दोष घुसाई ऑब्जर्विंग दिस काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन ओनली मे बी संत तुलसीदास यस टोल्ड लाइक दिस समर्थ को नहीं दोष घुसाई नेवर नेवर ब्लेम एन एफिशिएंट पर्सन व्हेन समथिंग हैज हैपेंड इन द कंट्री व्हिच इज नॉट अ जस्टिएबल थिंग यू नो दिस इज ऑल बिकॉज ऑफ ओनली इन एफिशियंट पीपल when the administrative issues will go into the inefficient people's hands naturally things will happen which are totally totally wrong things now let us get into the lesson the name of the lesson is girgit girgit is a chameleon and chameleon always changes its nature constantly without any stop according to the say geographical situations maybe weather situation this chameleon changes its body color and tries to save itself there are people in the society who always keep on changing their attitude their mindset and even their behavior just to save themselves from the say situations it's a very funny story and at the same time it's a very very say criticizing and a very much a, say beautiful story about the people who were ruling in the russian country by the time it was in the 19th century it's a very small incident and it is totally related to the blood related people of the russian tsar let us see now what is the content of the lesson हाथ में बंडल थामे पुलिस इंस्पेक्टर ओचू मिलाओ नया ओवरकोट पहने हुए बाजार के चौराहे से गुजारा पुलिस इंस्पेक्टर वी नो पुलिस टेक्स केयर ऑफ द लॉ एंड ऑर्डर एंड दिस पुलिस इंस्पेक्टर बाय नेम ओचू मिलाओ ही वाज वेयरिंग एन ओवरकोट एंड ही हैड ए वेरी बिग बंडल ऑफ से द फाइल्स इन हिज हैंड्स एंड जस्ट ही वॉज मूविंग अक्रॉस द क्रॉस रोड्स उसके पीछे अपने हाथों में जब्त की गई झरबेरिया की टोकरी उठाए लाल बालों वाला एक सिपाही चला आ रहा था वन मैन विथ ए काइंड ऑफ कॉपर कलर हेयर वॉज फॉलोइंग हिम एंड ही हैज a basket on his head and his basket was containing a variety of say fruit this fruit can also be called berries like jhar berry a berry is a berry fruit and it is a variety of berry that was available in russian countries charo or khamoshi thi except these two people nobody was there in the crossroads and uh, it was uh, a junction like place and uh, chaurahe par kisi aadmi ka nishan tak nahi tha there is no trace of anybody coming or going from that way except this police inspector and uh, the person who was just following him with a big basket of fruits on his head and uh, this uh, basket of fruits was uh, से टेकन इन टू जब इट सीम्स वॉट इज जब गोइंग इन टू द कस्टडी ऑफ ऑफिशियल्स एनी प्रॉपर्टी कैन बी कॉल्ड जब सो ही वॉज जस्ट फॉलोइंग द इंस्पेक्टर फॉर हिज मर्सी दुकानों के खुले दरवाजे भूखे जबड़ों की तरह भगवान की इस सृष्टि को उदास निगाहों से तक रहे थे ऑल द शॉप्स वर क्लोज and it is said that uh, the closed shops were looking like uh, say 
the dry jaws of a, some animal, maybe a human or maybe an animal, its uh, jaws were totally dry. When do our jaws become dry? When we are in the need of some food or when we are not, say, in the reach of any food and we become weak and we are very much worried about filling our stomach. Bhagavan ki srushti ko udas nigaho se taak rahe the. And we will be very much, say, in a despair. We will be in very much of disappointment when we are unable to find anything to eat. Yeah, the closed shops were looking like that. Koi bhikari tak unke aspas nahi dik raha tha. We know, beggary is very common in almost many countries in the world. And it is said that when all the shops were closed, even a beggar was not found on the streets. Not even a single beggar was seen on the street. Sahasa, ocho me lao ke kano me ek awash gunji. To, tu katega, tu shaitan kahi ka. O, chokro, ise mat jane do. इन दिनों काट खाना मना है पकड़ लो इस कुत्ते को आ देर वॉज अ सडन साउंड दैट वॉज रिसाउंडिंग इन द इयर्स ऑफ द पोलिस इंस्पेक्टर हुज नेम वॉज ओचो मिलाओ इट वॉज अ से लाइक दिस तो तू काटेगा सो हैव यू डिसाइडेड टू बाइट मी Tu shaitan kahi ka. You stupid fellow. So, you want to bite me? O chokro. Hey, boys, come on. He say, mat jane do. Stop it. Don't allow it to go. Yin dino kaat khana mana hai. See, nowadays, it's totally, totally prohibited to eat any non-vegetarian food. Understood? So, Please catch hold of this. Pakadlo is kutteko. Come on, man, stop it. Come on. Please stop this stupid dog. Oh. Tab kisi kutte ke kiki yane ki awa sunai di. When these words were just resounding, echoing in the ears of a police inspector, after some time, there was a a sound of yelling of a dog. You know, kikiyana. You know, when a dog is beaten by somebody, how it will make yelling? Like, mew, like that. The dog was yelling and that sound also was echoing in the ears of the police inspector. Ocho me laune us awash ki disha me ghoom kar ghura aur paya ki ek vyapari पिचू गिन के काठ गोदाम से एक कुत्ता तीन टांगों के बल पर रेंगता चला आ रहा वेन दिस येलिंग ऑफ डॉग वॉज रिजेंड पोलिस ऑफिसर जस्ट लुकड इन दट डायरेक्शन वेयर फ्रॉम द साउंड वॉज कमिंग एंड ही फाउंड दिस इंफॉर्मेशन दट वन बिजनेस मैन हु वॉज सेट टू बी ए व्यापारी and who was working in the godown of a, say wooden items or furniture items he was coming out and from his godown only one dog was coming out this dog was just coming out with crawling on her three legs on her three legs it was crawling on the ground but bending her knees chint ki khalaf lagi kameez aur bina button ki waistcoat pehne hue ek vyakti kutte ke piche daud raha tha meanwhile there was a person who was coming running behind the dog now the author is describing that person how is he coming he was coming with the a shirt that was totally dipped in starch that means very stiff 
starched shirt he was wearing and he did not put any button of that shirt and it was described as a waist coat what is waist waist is a waist coat the coat that is worn on the shirt which just hangs till waist of a person it's a waist coat we call in english he was running behind this dog girte padte usne kutte ko pichla tang se pakad liya he was just uh, tumbling on the ground he was running 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 behind it and somehow he could catch hold of the leg of the dog from back side fir kutte ka kikiya na aur ek cheek mat jaane do do bara sunai diya when he was uh, catching hold of that again the sound came into the ears of the police officer please please don't allow it to run away catch hold of it dukan mein woongte hue chehre bahar jhanke aur dekhte hi dekhte jaise zameen phad kar nikal aayi ek bheed kaat godam ko gher kar khadi ho gayi when people were just uh, dozing inside the say shops because uh, almost all the shops were closed and very few people who were almost like uh, dozing in the shops suddenly when they looked the situation outside they all came out of the shops and uh, they just crowded near the say go down where the person was uh, catching hold of this dog everybody started there and uh, they surrounded the person near the godown huzur yah to jan shanti bhang ho jane se jaisa kuch dikh raha hai sipahi ne kaha when all these people came out like this and uh, surrounded the godown the official told like this i think uh, this is breaking the peace this is breaking the say silence in the surroundings i think it is breaking land order ocho milao muda aur bheed ki taraf chal diya when one person in the crowd said like this this uh, inspector got uh, mad just he started walking towards the crowd usne kaat godam ke paas button vihin वेस्केट धारण किए हुए उस आदमी को देखा जो अपना दायां हाथ उठाए वहां मौजूद था तथा उपस्थित लोगों को अपनी लुहलुहान उंगली दिखा रहा था वेन ही लिजन टू दिस वॉइस लाइक दिस द पुलिस मैन स्टार्टेड गोइंग टूवर्ड्स द क्राउड एंड ही स्टूड देर and he saw the person who was wearing a waist coat and this man he was just lifting his right hand and showing his finger to everybody and this finger was bleeding his right finger index finger was bleeding he was showing to all the people his bleeding finger uske nashile se हो आए चेहरे पर साफ लिख दिख रहा था शैतान की औलाद ही वॉज ऑलमोस्ट लाइक ए ड्रउजी पर्सन एंड ही वॉज जस्ट शाउटिंग लाइक दिस वॉट यू आर शाउटिंग यू नो शैतान की औलाद दैट मीन्स यू स्टूपेड मे बी यू आर द हायर ऑफ अ शैतान दैट मीन्स यू स्टूपेड यू रोक मैं तुझे छोड़ने वाला नहीं आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू लीव यू टुडे यू स्टूपेड और उसकी उंगली भी जीत के झंडे की तरह गड़ी दिखाई दे रही थी हैज ही वॉज लिफ्टिंग हिज राइट हैंड एंड शोइंग हिज फिंगर टू एवरी बडी इट वॉज जस्ट लाइक ये सिम्बॉलिज्म ऑफ हिज विक्टरी ओचू मिलाओ ने इस व्यक्ति को पहचान लिया when he was shouting like that and lifting his hand and showing his finger police inspector was looking at him and after 
a few seconds he could identify who was that person vah kyukrin namak sunar tha aur is bheed ke beechon beech apni agli taange pasare nukile mukh aur peeth par faile peele daag wala apradhi sa nazar aata safed bar joyi pilla ऊपर से नीचे तक कांपता पसरा पड़ा था ही आइडेंटिफाइड हिम टू बी क्यूक्रिन हु वॉज अ गोल्ड स्मिथ हु वॉज अ गोल्ड स्मिथ एंड ही वॉज जस्ट गेटिंग इन टू द क्राउड विथ ए काइंड ऑफ शाउटिंग एंड ही वॉज मेकिंग ए वेरी पॉइंटेड फिंगर एंड वेरी शार्प फिंगर towards the persons there and he was looking like almost a criminal and he was making say a kind of a, say barjoi pilla pilla is a puppy puppy which belongs to a very superior breed of dogs and upar se niche tak kaampta pasara pad raha tha and he was almost like shivering with anger when we get so much of anger also we start getting a kind of shivering in the body that means not able to control his emotions uski aanson se sani aankhon mein sankat aur aatank ki gehri chhap thi it is said that say he was having in his eyes the reflection of a, a kind of danger the reflection of a kind of a scare he was afraid and he was expecting some danger to take place ye sab kya ho raha hai bheed ko cheerte hue ocho melao ne sawal kiya when things were going on like that the police inspector just entered the crowd and he started shouting at the group like this what's going on here ye sab kya ho raha hai what is going on here tum sab log idhar kya kar rahe ho what you people are doing here tumne apni yah ungli upar kyon utha rakhi hai he looked at the person in a waistcoat and he asked him why are you lifting your finger like that what happened to you chilla kaun raha tha has to tell me who is shouting who is screaming here tell me हुजूर मैं तो चुपचाप चला जा रहा था मुँह पर हाथ रख कर खांसते हुए क्यूक्रीन ने कहा यू नो क्यूक्रीन हु वॉज सेट बी ए ज्वेलर और मे बी ए गोल्ड स्मिथ एंड ही स्टार्टेड टेलिंग लाइक दिस एंड स्टॉपिंग हिज काफ ही वॉज काफिंग सो मच एंड ही स्टार्टेड टेलिंग लाइक दिस ओ सर आई वॉज गोइंग साइलेंटली I was going on my own business very very quietly. मुझे मित्री मित्रच से लकड़ी लेकर कुछ काम निपटना था Sir, actually speaking, I came to buy some furniture, some wooden पीस wooden logs like from this godown. तब अचानक इस कंभक्त ने अकारण मेरी उंगली काट खाई आई टेल यू सर वेन आई केम इन साइड द गोडाउन टू बाय वन वुडन लॉग अनफॉर्चुनेटली दिस टूपिड डॉग हैज बिटन माई फिंगर आप तो जानते हैं माई ठहरा एक काम काजी आदमी आई टेल यू आई एम वेरी वेरी से वेरी टफ इन नेचर एंड आई एम वेरी मच से सीरियस इन माई वर्क एंड मेरा काम भी एकदम पेचीदा किस्म का है आई टेल यू आई एम ए टफ पर्सन आई एम वर्क माइंडेड पर्सन आई एम सीरियस इन माई वर्क एंड सी माई वर्क इज टोटली डिस्टर्ब मुझे लग रहा है एक हफ्ते तक मेरी यह उंगली अब काम करने लायक नहीं हो जाएगी यस सर आई बिलीव दट टिल वन वीक आई कॉन्ट डू एनी वर्क With this kind of finger, 
it has been wounded by this rogue this stupid dog very seriously i'm sorry sir and i can't make any kind of job in my say routine to huzur meri guzarish hai ki jiske malikon se mujhe har jana to dilwaya jaye sir i request you only one thing you are police inspector what i request you that you please give me some kind of say amount so that i can make my own say both meat both end the meat that means i cannot work and my family should not starve because of me so i want something that is say what you can say is a kind of amount that can be given to me so that i can meet both my ends if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus